Hi everyone, Mad Mopper here. So it may look like I have some junk piled on my table here, but actually I went to Dollar Tree and picked up a bunch of items to make five spring themed gift baskets. Now these are not Easter baskets. These are regular gift baskets for a friend, a family member, what have you. So make sure to watch till the end so you don't miss a basket. Now come along and let's go get started on the first basket. I picked up this basket at Dollar Tree. Like I said, I got all of my items at Dollar Tree. I love the mint green color. It's the perfect size and shape to make several spring baskets. I'm also going to be using this ribbon from their Easter collection. I love the multicolors. I think it will go well with everything I'm doing today. The first basket I'm going to make is a baking basket. I'm going to be using this brownie mix. As you can see, I've already opened it and cut out the back because I did already film this for a reel. So I'm gonna use this jar with the snap top lid. I've added the brownie mix to the jar and I've affixed the directions to the bottom of the jar. I used the Dollar Tree glue dots to affix the directions to the bottom. I tied a little bow here. I attached a glue dot to the back of the bow and I'm going to affix it to the front of the jar. I'm gonna go ahead and place the jar in the basket and move on to the next item. I also picked up a brownie pan and I'm gonna go ahead and place that in the back for height. I also picked up these adorable oven mitts and I'm going to place two glue dots to the back of the mitts. I'm going to affix them to the brownie pan to cover up the label. I don't like to remove the labels because I don't want the recipient to think anything is used. I'm going to add this spatula as well. I've tied a bow to it and I've added glue dots to the back of the spatula and I'm going to affix it to the brownie pan. Now I'm gonna add some of the Dollar Tree shreds in pink to hold everything in place. I also picked up these faux Gerber daisies, which I will be using throughout this video in several of the baskets. I'm going to add a couple of the daisies to the basket to give it more of a spring look. Dollar Tree also carries these basket bags, which I will be using to seal the basket and for the final touches. I'm going to finish it off with some ribbon and then I pulled off one of the daisies of which I will embellish the ribbon and the basket is complete. This is such a simple and budget friendly gift. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and don't go anywhere because I'm saving the best baskets for last. I picked up this sign from Dollar Tree and I pulled a piece of the sign off of which I'm gonna use for an embellishment on the basket. I thought this watering can was so cute and the colors are going to coordinate perfectly with my other baskets. I'm going to use the balloon glue dots to affix it. As long as you put enough on the back, they will hold really well. For the second basket, I thought I would do a relaxing tea time basket. I found this mug and I was so impressed. It's very good quality. I also found this tea, so I thought I would take the tea bags out and place them in the mug. I'm gonna go ahead and add one of the daisies as well. I found this book. I thought it would be a nice addition. They can sit down with their tea, relax, and read a good book. I thought this pink votive candle would be a nice addition. They can light this candle while they're reading and sipping on their tea. Of course, you've got to have your snacks as well. So I picked up these high-end looking snacks and some caramels to make the basket complete. I'm going to go ahead and hold everything in place with these pink shreds. Now I'm gonna finish everything off with the plastic bag and the bow and embellish it with the daisy like I did on the previous basket. And that is it for basket number two, a tea time basket, a great gift for a friend or family member who may not be feeling well or may be going through something where they are stressed out. This is a nice, budget-friendly, relaxing gift. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.
I know the plastic looks a little bit loose. This is for video purposes only. So if I was going to be giving this particular basket away, I would make sure the bag was a lot tighter. Moving on to basket number three, I'm going to put together a summer beach type basket. I thought those flip flops were so bright and summery. And then I found this bag as well. I love the saying live in full bloom and I absolutely love the color. I also found this water bottle that I feel like matches perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I'm going to add this beach game, which I also feel like brings another pop of summery color to the basket. I'm also going to add some sunscreen and I'm gonna add this word puzzle book. I picked a book that has the colors that I'm using in the basket so that everything coordinates. I'm going to add this pink pen as well so they have something to work the word puzzles with. I also found these really cute yellow sunglasses. I added some of the balloon glue dots to one of the arms of the glasses and I'm going to attach them to the flip flops. Now I'm gonna add some of the pink shreds so that all of the items stay exactly where I want them to be. And I can't forget the daisies to top off the look. I've added the basket bag and the bow and I'm going to embellish with the daisy and that completes basket number three, a spring or summer themed basket for enjoying the outdoors. Moving on to basket number four, I'm going to make a simple kitchen themed basket. I'm going to start with this cutting board and I'm gonna place it in the basket with the label facing to the back. I found these mint green towels and I thought I would roll them up and tie them with a bow to add a pop of color. I love the soap dispenser. I am going to add that as well. Dollar Tree has a lot of jars you can choose from, but I already had this mason jar, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I'm going to attach a bow to the front of it, and then I found these utensils and I was pretty impressed with the rubber grips they have. You don't usually find those at Dollar Tree. The jar will help them stay in place in the basket and who can't use an extra jar? So I thought that would be a great idea. I also picked out some dishwashing soap that they can add to the soap dispenser. I'm going to add these sponges that also coordinate with the colors I'm using in the basket. I'm gonna add some daisies to bring that spring touch to the basket. Everything fit pretty tight in the basket so there's no need for the pink shreds. So I've got my bow and my daisy embellishment and that is it for basket number four, a cute springy kitchen basket. Moving on to basket number five, I picked up these Epsom salts and I thought it would be so cute to pour them into this mason jar with a bow. I'm going to add that to the basket and then I found this purple exfoliating cloth. Again, trying to keep everything color coordinated. I also found this blue head wrap. I'm going to be using the balloon glue dots again because I want to affix these super cute pink exfoliating gloves to the head wrap so that they can be seen better. I'm going to add some lotion. I found this lavender soap that I thought would be great to add as well. I can smell it through the box. It smells amazing. I'm going to add this collagen face mask and these makeup remover pads. I found this purple poof and this colorful pumice stone that matches perfectly with the basket. I put the glue dots on the back and I'm gonna stick it to the top of the soap. I'm also gonna add this facial scrub brush. To fill in any gaps, I'm gonna put some of the pink shreds and to also add some color. And I can't forget the daisies to add that spring touch. These are such budget friendly gifts and they are so fun to make. Just use your imagination, grab things that coordinate in color and you've got the perfect gift for someone you care about. Let me know in the comments which basket was your favorite and click on the screen for more Dollar Tree content.